what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here in today's video i am going to be addressing what we actually would have ended up finding out what the creeper was going to be uh several years ago when we were originally supposed to get a film called jeepers creepers the creeper walks among us which then became jeepers creepers cathedral uh now that film was set to be released in 2006 sometime 2006 became 2009 2009 became 2012 and then from then on out 2012 of course became 2017 and it was no longer called cathedral it was no longer set 23 years after the first two movies we were no longer going to be getting the film we had been waiting for we were getting something uh, that had been cut in half something that would fit a smaller budget uh, something taking place in between the first and second films, which makes no sense whatsoever. All the third film now has done is create several plot inconsistencies on top of some minor things that already exist within this universe. Uh, but to get into today's video, in the original Cathedral script, we were going to find out not exactly what the Creeper was specifically, but we were going to touch on it and kind of address finally the big the big uh the big mystery of it all kind of just give like some tidbits on it not necessarily that this is exactly what it is but in the cathedral script and those of you who have gotten a copy of the script uh i know some of you are still leaving your emails i'm still trying to address all of those uh, i can't address all of you guys so if you do not get one just say hey you didn't send it to me and then leave your email address again uh, but those of you who have read the script, you'll know what scene I'm about to be referring to. So in the cathedral script, the, the script that's uh, set 23 years later, we have two characters named Rowan and uh, Greg. They stumble across, they're like working in a mine or something. And what happens is they're the two, uh, they're the two men in the story of cathedral who stumble across the cathedral that the creeper actually uh, ended up storing a lot of other bodies in. We find out that we found we find out that the uh, the the young men from Jeepers Creepers 2 uh, from the basketball team, some of them got stashed down there, or we end up finding out that there were some Bannon County jackets down there, suggesting that that's where the creeper flew off with these guys. He he put them in this uh, this cathedral cave that they find. Uh, but getting into it, what happens is they come across all these like sketchings and these ancient things that are in here that the creeper has left behind um and then just to address that i would have knowing the creeper and how he operates i would i would have expected him to be a little bit more careful with it but then again his one of his other main uh layers was an was a church that was out in the open but of course it was a rundown a rundown church so no no one would really expect anything to be going on there no one would ever go in and out uh so i won't give him that much flack on this but they end up finding some artifacts some sketches on the walls and things that are pointing towards an old deity in the poho county area uh, now greg asked rowan what exactly is this because it's in a different language i believe it was in greek uh anyone who's read the script correct me if i'm wrong what rowan ends up telling us is that from what he can read and from the sketchings that are here, cause it's sketches of like uh, early Poho settlers, Indians in the Poho County area, uh, Native Americans worshiping what a, what in this universe, this, this is an existing demon in this universe. It looks like they're worshiping what this universe is referring to as a Phoenix demon. Uh, a demon sent down to punish humanity and take their souls for punishing the gods. Uh, now, getting into how all of that would have ended up playing out i think that would have been a nice thing to kind of just address to get told it doesn't really tell you concretely that's what the creeper was uh but this being the lore of what phoenix demons would have been in that universe this is what the creeper would have been it would have been a phoenix demon that apparently got sent down by gods to punish humanity now it doesn't really tell us why uh this thing operates on a feeding cycle so that's still going to be something left up in the air but it kind of the cathedral script would have revealed that the creeper was a phoenix demon and how this phoenix demon operates is yes every feeding cycle it is it it does shed its skin and then if you were to actually burn it it can be reborn so 
by burning the creeper, uh, we learn something else about the creeper and coming in contact with fire because in none of the other films, now see this would have been plausible because in none of the other films do we really see the creeper coming in contact with fire. Uh, we do take note of the fact that he does try to avoid fire as much as he can. But then again, why would he want to avoid it if it's just gonna make him be reborn? Uh, but anyway, if you burn the creeper, it's going to make him reborn. He's just gonna have all his limbs again. He's gonna be born from the ashes, which is how most Phoenix birds operate. And that's the same way the Phoenix demon would have operated. Uh, so in the cathedral script, we find out that the creeper is an old Phoenix demon that has been terrorizing this area of Polk County for quite some time. And early Native Americans who were in this area, they were, uh, they were like, like worshipers or followers of it or something to that effect uh that the whole the whole entire cathedral script this this explanation would have been so much better than anything that uh the th the third film that we got dealing with this and touching on that and seeing that probably fleshed out into something a little bit more uh concrete that would have been nice to see on film because not only do we get like tidbits of what the creeper potentially is we're still not getting a definitive answer so it leaves room for us as fans to then interpret everything that we find out later on for years to come because because the cathedral script was a script meant to end this series the series was going to be a three a three film trilogy um several things were going to happen a one of the beloved characters a beloved character was going to die those of you who've read the script some of you have kind of spoiled it in the comment section but whatever but that's what the creeper was it was a phoenix demon uh let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section below what are your thoughts on that uh were you kind of expecting this anyway uh if you haven't already make sure you subscribe or turn on post notifications so you never miss a video in the description i have links to all my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video